So today I want to talk you through two smoothies that I make for myself a lot here at home. They are really easy to make. A lot of the ingredients in them is, are dried, so you'll have them in your cupboard. You don't have to go running out, so they're really, really handy, and they are still packed full of nutrients. So vitamins, minerals, protein, fiber, omega oils, really, really handy and really, really nutritious. So the first smoothie that I want to make is a protein one, and then after that, I'm gonna make a more indulgent chocolate one. So at the end of this video, you will have two really handy recipes that you can go to when you maybe don't have so many fresh ingredients in the house. So, so the first one is my protein power smoothie. I don't take dairy and because I can't have it and either can Olivia and I'm still feeding her. So the protein powder I'm using is the Sun Warrior one. And um, this is a scoop of their vanilla protein. It's hemp and pea based mainly and it contains 16 grams of protein. So that's really handy and it's gonna be great for like recovery after exercise and like rebuilding and, and making sure like that my muscles are nice and lean but also giving me more protein because I'm obviously still producing breast milk for Olivia and it can be hard sometimes to get your your protein intake in daily when you're like not when you're not taking dairy I do take a little bit of goat's cheese nuts and seeds and lentils I eat all that but it can be hard to get my protein in so 16 grams is pretty handy to take, take off there so that is my protein. I'm also going to use some Super Life original superfood mix. So it's like, I'm sure you can get this lots of different brands, but this is the particular one that I have. It's gone in at hemp and hemp is gonna be high in protein. It's gone in their cacao. Cacao is high in antioxidants and also a good source of magnesium for me. I also have some maca in there and maca is really good for um, like balancing hormones, which God, God knows I could, could do with kelp. Good for metabolism because it's good for the thyroid. Spirulina is gonna be nice and cleansing and good for a source of protein. Chlorella is also nice and cleansing green and your barley grass is nice and alkalizing. Your lacuma is a, like an exotic fruit from Peru, I think, and it's really, really good source of pro or good source of calcium, should I say. So that in itself is like super nutritious. So one teaspoon of that, I'm gonna be popping in. And I'm also gonna be doing a tablespoon of chia seeds. So you have to watch out with chia seeds cause they kind of like, um, make it thicker so if you're going to leave the smoothie sitting in the fridge just maybe add a bit more coconut water so just be aware of that super nutritious super good and high in fiber antioxidants and vitamins and minerals and also it's got your good fats in there as well which is another thing that is important for me to get because i don't eat fish so good healthy fats um, and then i have a banana which is going to be like good source of electrolytes good source of potassium and also giving me some carbs as well basically making me feel fuller for longer so if i had all this without the car without the banana, I might feel hungry quite soon after, so the banana is gonna help me with that. And then I have my coconut water, and the coconut water is gonna be a great source of electrolytes, so good for like rebalancing me after my workout. So let's get going on this. that I want to run through is my Coco Bliss smoothie and it is so, so yummy. I made this smoothie up when I was pregnant with Olivia because it has dates in it and, or a date in it, and dates are meant to be good for ripening the cervix. So I, every day I actually used to have two dates and so I've reduced it here because it can get a bit sweet if you put two dates because there is a banana in here as well. So I'm gonna talk you through the ingredients in it and then we'll get going. So banana, we already went through, but good for carbs and good for energy for me. There's a date in there as well, which is gonna be good for fiber, good for gut health. I've got some flax seeds in there which is my good fats a good and high in antioxidants a good source of healthy fats for me and also um, going to be a good source of fiber and um, I've got spirulina in there which is really really cleansing alkalizing green but it's also a very good source of protein as well which is, is handy for me because obviously um, I don't take dairy and I'm vegetarian so it's harder for me to get protein in my diet Another source of protein, a tablespoon of almond butter, which is gonna make it really yummy and nutty, and again, good healthy fats in there. And I have some cacao in here as well, so good source of magnesium. And um, Just note that it has like a compound in it called triobromine, which is like a caffeine-like compound, so if you are avoiding caffeine, 
if you're caffeine sensitive, just be cautious of it. Now, if you're able to take regular chocolates, you're probably okay, but this is cacao is a little bit higher, so in it, because it would be more pure, so just be aware of that. And good source of magnesium as well, so good for sleep and happiness. A lot of the time I use almond milk. Uh, today I have oat milk, so I'm gonna use oat milk, so it's obviously lactose free, and it's gonna be easier on the gut, basically. So it's gonna make it nice and creamy, so let's get going. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You will also find me on other social media platforms like Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook under Grace Jones Mama and I post a recipe every single day on those. So don't forget to check those out and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.